the assistance for teaching, primarily GE, but not exclusively GE. That's what it's supposed to do. So if there are no projects, that means there are no ideas of the faculty who, who teach. I mean, there can only be a project if we have something. Mm -hmm. If we have nothing, then... So, and as far as I know, as far as I know, there are funds that one can apply to for the instructional materials. But again, I don't know if faculty apply to the funds, but I think the funds are still there, and, and, and you, can, you can apply. I just have, I, I don't know. Anyway, I've been so candid all afternoon. What's one more candid <laughs> comment? Okay. I, I, I've seen some of the, Dina, don't laugh. I've seen some of the learning materials. I, I think we could be, they're a bit remedial. I think we could upgrade them. I, I think, but you know, my opinion wasn't asked, so I'm just taking the floor. <laughs> but I, I think the kinds of, of materials we do, let's also submit them to the review of our peers. You know, get these GE bodies together, go over the stuff and see, okay, this is good, this is good, oh, this is too, too elementary. If it's all, if, if for me, if the tool already exists online, let's not reinvent the wheel and spend precious money. And there are a million and one tools like that, okay? But if it doesn't, that's what we, we, we spend money on. And the ILC is supposed to be administered independently by each campus. So um, I think, really, the answer to your question should be answered by you. <laughs> All right. Uh, next question is coming from UP Los Baños. Our moderator uh, moderators are Beng Boro Magbanua and Sherlita Espinosa. Good afternoon, Dr. Jovno. We Good have a question from Barlas Piopos, an instructor from the College of Arts and Sciences, UPLB. Um, Ma'am, um, you talk a lot of things about some changes that took place in the university, like for example, um, the changing economic index of UP students, um, their UPCAT performance and their language proficiency among many others. But you seem to overlook the fact that we have increased our tuition by 300%. Um, how will this change the track of this university for the future? And um, how will we reconcile this with our idea of social justice? I think students realize that whatever amount UP asks from you will never be enough to cover our expenses. Never. Okay? The budget of BGH is what? Close to one billion a year. BGH? Sakup yan sa budget natin. Okay. So everything, all of this has to be, to be allocated. What I want to, to look at in the tuition is not so much the increase for the A and B. That's fine with me. If they pay even more than, I think, what's the fee now? One, one, one five. Okay. If you pay 2,000, they're super millionaires. Okay. No problem. Because if they study in Ateneo and La Salle, they would pay... What uh, I know in La Salle, 170,000 a year for three semesters. Oh, yeah, or something. So, kung A and B, I wala kong worry. Yung E, okay. Kasi yung E natin, ano naman eh, uh, walang bayad at tinaasan ang subsidy. Nilakihan, kasi ang liit-liit naman yung subsidy noon. My concern was more the, the lower middle class, which uh, President Roman is aware of. I'm concerned about the, the, the lower middle class because, again, I don't have the new data now, but what I saw last year, if you combine the incoming freshmen, brackets C and D in Diliman, if you total the number, they, they don't exceed, I think they're even fewer than 3%. Fewer than 3% of the total incoming freshmen. And that's the lower middle class. Which means that really, the character of, of our population is, 
is changing. So, in a sense, it's uh, something also to, for me, that, that I think we, 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 should, we should look at. Also because, you know, in the, in the near future, I don't see things, the economy, really improving. So, it's quite possible that this kind of gap could even, could even, um, could even worsen. Uh, in my GE class last semester, do you know that everyone, nearly all of them, were paying at least a thousand or a thousand five hundred per unit? My entire class almost. I had no one from any of the bra lower bracket sections. I, 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 that, was, that was last semester. I, I don't know. Um, now, but um, it didn't used to be too much that way. Last semester, it, it was, and um, and uh, they say that I said, Are you, "Is it okay with your parents?" Kanya, may siyang pebrang na nahirapan pero kaya nga mam kailangan magconcentrate kami sa pag-aaral namin. Yon, si yun ang laging baksa. Kaya kailangan magconcentrate. Kasi importante yung ano, mahal eh, yun ang ginagastos ng magulang, yun ang puhunan, kailangan doon kami magbigay ng focus. Yun ang sagot. So it's possible that in the future, if you combine that with our admissions policy, then you will see uh, you know, that kind of um, character probably um, growing. I, I haven't seen the latest data, so I don't know, but that was last year's so that I recall. All right, thank you again, Dr. Diokno. Uh, UP Iloilo, please come in. Uh, moderator is Professor Robert Rodriguez. Good afternoon, uh, Dr. Jokno from UP Visayas Niagao. Our question is coming from Mr. Adimel Sevilla from the Office of the Chancellor. The question is, as an educator, what do you think could you consider your most significant contribution to UP education? Is there something more that you can give for the improvement of UP and Philippine education. <laughs> He's a very young boy. He wants to know what I've contributed. Um, <laughs> How much well, time would you need? <laughs> I have to tell you, I love teaching. I do. My students know that. I love it. Nothing, nothing can, can, can replace teaching. I enjoy it. And uh, I, I have to confess, I also enjoy, you know, making it hard for you. <laughs> I do. I do. I won't stop pushing. And I don't until I get the, the results I want. Um, What's my biggest contribution? That's too difficult a question. Do you have to say that when you're dead and then somebody <laughs> says something about you? Not while you're alive and then you have to think, oh my God, what am I going to say? You know, like, you know, it's very tempting to leave this place. It's very tempting. Okay, five times my salary, five times. Tenure, automatic, highest rank, and when I said, I just was quiet, they said, but aren't you going to consider it? Then I tried to multiply it by 13, because it's about 13th month pay tayo. <laughs> and then I told the board, I think there are far too many zeros. My mind cannot fathom. I'm conditioned by the UP salary when it's far too many digits. I mean, like, it was, it was more than... It's just unbelievable, something UP could never give me, 10 times over, you know. So if you think, what, I think being really the best teacher that you can, and of course I love history, you know that too, young people, yeah? I love history, yeah? and I like to, to write about it. These are modest contributions, I don't think they're anything that, you know, you will remember me by. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that young man anyway? I mean, anong pangalan niya? Robert? Robert? Rodriguez. Niagaw? <laughs> Gee. 
I'm not sure if the question's from him, though. <laughs> anyway, we are now ready for two questions here inside the auditorium. Yes, uh, yes, sir. Please uh, go to the microphone. Um, pagbati po sa aking guho sa isang napakagandang lektura. Yeah, Michael Charles Sundichua from the De La Salle University Department of History. Um, Ma'am, you earn better than me now, Shao. No, I, I'm, I'm ano, uh, ano part time. Oh. So hindi pa po. <laughs> okay, still small. Uh, Ma'am, um, I was told by in a week by two uh, older professors here in UP. Um, na um, sometimes tayo pong mga taga UP, we pride ourselves of being, you know, the best university, and we are the best university. I may tell abang, you. May abang. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. But anyway, um, we are the best university, and you know, okay, yung mga brains natin, and we, we work with good minds. Um, pero they also told me, na sometimes daw pag minsan sa iba sa atin, malayo yung ating utak sa ating puso, layo nga, ano? So, um. Ang question ko po, sabi, sabi kasi nila, baka we must have a re-examination of our collective hearts in UP. Is that really possible that we can do that? Is that possible? And if it is, how can we do it? Salamat po. Chow naman. Pa, paano naman natin papasukin ang mga puso ng faculty? Pambihira. Oh. I think, uh, you know, we have to be here because one, we share a common purpose. However we articulate that, okay, whatever the courses we teach, what we choose to publish, there can be no question that we share a common purpose. That's what should bring us together. Two, it's not just any kind of purpose. It's a purpose that we passionately, passionately believe in. I mean, why will we stay here with the salaries we receive if we didn't, you know, have this sort of commitment? It, it's got to be something deeper. And it's, it's, it's that. So, I, I, I don't know that there's a mismatch between soul and thinking. Maybe we're just not as, you know, as um, expressive, as, as, I don't know, are, are La Salle faculty uh, expressive? I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know. But we don't, you know, we don't say maybe how we, we feel. But I have no question that we feel what we do. I mean, how many faculty have we had who started here and, and retired here? Since I graduated, it's the only place I've taught. Imagine how old that makes me. The only place. No other. No other. And it can't be because there aren't other choices. Of course there are. Okay. And nice paying ones too. But the, 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 so the heart is there. We just maybe don't wear it on our sleeve. All right. Thank you, Dr. Diokno. Another question? All right, sir. Please state your name. <laughs> <laughs> 